Oh, hey guys, it's me, Gino Sands again. Hope you guys missed me. Anyways, today I will be reacting to more story shit. But first, I wanted to see this. Sonic Chase the Bad Word re-upload. What the fuck? Whatever. So let's just get into it. I was playing on live streaming, but the live stream isn't working for some reason. I'm going to say the end. Desperate says you can't say the N word. <laughs> then, ah, 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 ah. What the heck? I'm gonna say the N word. Desperate says you can't say the N word. <laughs> I'm gonna say the N word. Desperate says you can't say the N word. <laughs> then, ah, 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 ah. Um, what just happened? Um, okay, whatever. Oof, that gave, that gave me the chills. Oh, I'm just saving thing. Oh, yeah, the camera. No! Nope! Whatever. I want to see this, because look, there's me. Mr. Muldoon's estate, I have been empowered to read Mr. Muldoon's last will and testament. Well, get on with it. The fire's over. Open soon. <laughs> oh, poor dear Arthur! Ah! There, there, Jenny. God, how predictably poor. I never work for a kind of man. Poor Chris. If we are all That's seated, true. I shall proceed with the reading. I knew it. <laughs> I, Arthur Durham Muldoon, being of sound mind and body, that's a laugh, <laughs> do hereby divide up my considerable estate as follows, to my overly emotional sister, Jenny, <laughs> Jenny, darling, he's talking about us, who grubbed with her husband, Hank, grubbed for everything they could get from me, and then cried crocodile tears when I needed sympathy, what? to Jenny, I leave a boot to the head. A what? <laughs> Jenny, are you okay? And another boot to her windy husband, Hank. Ah, <laughs> uh, but still, yes, you are. are my sister. You have both admired my Rolls Royce, and since I no longer need it, oh dear Arthur, he's too kind. I bequeath another boot to the head. What? <laughs> and one more for the windy. <laughs> Next to my alcoholic brother. Hey, I don't want no boot oh, to the air. head. Oh, air. Air. Too dear. Who has never worked a day in his drunken life? I'm covering up my head. I leave my wine cellar and, and crates of my finest whiskey. Really? And a boot to the head. <laughs> and another for Jenny in the wind. <laughs> That's not mine, guys. Next to my no-to-nephew -no Ralston. <laughs> this is so predictable. I leave a boot to the head. Oh, I knew it. And one for Jenny in the wind. <laughs> oh! This takes care of family <laughs> obligations. And now to Mrs. Mulroy. Oh, I don't want nothing. <laughs> who took care of me faithfully these many, many years. Who cared, made me laugh, brought me tea. Oh, I didn't mind. To Mrs. Mulroy, I bequeath a boot to the head. <laughs> and one for Jenny in the wind. <laughs> Are they always going to get one? And so to my cat mittens, I leave my entire vast boot to the head. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, to my lawyer, who has helped me on this will, I leave not a boot to the head, 
but a rabid Tasmanian devil to be placed in his trousers? Oh! oh. And, and, and I leave my entire estate of $10 million to the people of Calgary so they can afford to move somewhere decent. Good. And finally, to my lawyer who has helped me on this will, I leave not a boot to the head, but a rabid Tasmanian devil to be placed in his trousers. Oh! oh. And, and, and I leave my entire estate of $10 million to the people of Calgary so they can afford to move somewhere decent. That's a good one, Ashley. One last thing for everyone. Cover your heads, everybody. <laughs> I leave everyone a lifetime supply of ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. That's all? That's all. But what flavor is it? Boot to the head. Stop! Stop! I gotta see that again. I gotta see that again. As the executor of Mr. Muldoon's estate, I have been empowered to read Mr. Muldoon's last will and right, testament. You guys don't have to see this if you don't want to. ...for everything they could get from me and then cried crocodile tears when I needed sympathy. What? To Jenny, I leave a boot to the head. A what? Ow! <laughs> Jenny, are you okay? And another boot to her windy husband, Hank. Ow! <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in story shift. And then we'll be in the video. What is it? Boot to the head. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get on to story shift. Alright, we're back on story shift. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, let's get on to the date with Azrael. Oh, too. Oh. Came over for the thing, then. A date, that is. There is a few places we can go, but the best for date one is... Home, sweet home. Welcome to the Dreamer House. Snowden edition. Please, make yourself cozy. Those flowers are a gift from my dad. They aren't meant to grow on the ground, so I take extra good care of it. Just a normal responsibility of a god. Your hands is the software cushion with ease. It's an encyclopedia. Why is it in the house? Okay. Oh, is it on? No, it I don't think so. It's just right. It says, Ultimate Undyne is temporary haters. Please stay tuned. Aw, uh, maybe later. Maybe, as real. That's the trash. I know. There's nothing tasty in there, but if you want to look, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, sugar cookies, I promise. I kept them warm with fire magic so they wouldn't freeze. Are they too warm now? Darn, they should be ready after the date then. Hungry? Dig in? We have plenty of food. Uh, oh, please. <laughs> I remember when Got I was to keep your hands clean. Forget, uh, but it's a little tall. I think this is still in the cupboard. Hmm? Oh my god, get it away! Uh, I'm fine. N not that I was. Let's move on, please. That painting's kinda old. It was when we first came to Snowden. Dad wasn't a royal scientist then, so he got to hang out a lot. <laughs> he made the best faces of me and Karen dumped snow on his head. There's my room. I made the nameplate myself. Would you... I mean, go in if you want. It's another flower Dad gave me, but really big. One day, I'll be really big, and it will be the tiny one then. Good thing Mom isn't here to see my bed like this. She would give me this intense look until I cleaned up. It's super creepy. It's the kind of look I want to give to all the bad guys. I don't really oh, spend a lot of time on the internet. Uh, well, talking to Dad at least. Humans have a different internet system up there, right? I wonder how different it really is. 
Maybe they like the monsters too. Oh, by oh. the way, guys, if you've seen uh, After Tale, the comic, uh, I'm actually on the surface right now. And watching this, that's how I'm watching it. I'm on the surface. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh no, Commander Snuffles fell down. Who? And, um, you heard nothing. On my last birthday, Mom got me a bunch of sand. And as I was wondering about it, Dad went to her side, and they used their fire magic to craft that sand into the prism. And when they held it out to the light, it made a rainbow on the wall. It's great to have a personal arc of colors, but I wish I could see a real rainbow someday. Karen and I were messing around the other house in Waterfall. They found that torn up scrap near the top of a garbage pile. Apparently, it's a map of all the stars you can see on the surface. There's so many, I bet they're even prettier than the stones. It'd be awesome if I found a lot of human books. But most of them are all soggy by the time we find them. Wish there was something other than mom's school books, at least. <laughs> the closet. Land of the clothes. But, to be honest, some of them haven't been used since we... Um, never mind. Hold pants and a pathetic striped shirt. The shirts and teeth look like they haven't been worn in a while. I really don't know how to start these things, but I'm ready if you are. Alright, let's do this. Dating start. Okay, here we are. Dating. How do these go? I've never seen one. Mom and Dad just shoo me away after a bit. Hmm? Oh, wait, I have an idea. We sometimes go to fancy restaurants. The closest around here is Grillby's, but those dogs are there too. The much together one. That won't work. Ah, but I do have some fancy stuff here. It's chocolate from the surface. From a secret stash. You stole from Kara, didn't you? Don't tell Kara about this, okay? Fine. Great. Dig in. You take a bit of, you take a bite of chocolate. It's so rich your eyes water from the sweetness. <laughs> I had the same reaction for the first time. I don't know how to eat them so often. That's one thing down. What's next? Oh right, they dress up for the dates. Hold on, this might take a minute. As we're going to the closet. And some shuffling noises. Okay, what do you think? Thanks. It took ages to put all of this together. I'm learning how to sew too. It really was worth it. Now your shirt's a different charm. It's simple, but it stands out. Wait, that's it. Compliments. Mom and Dad go nuts with those. Okay, let's give this a try. Your tutu looks really cute. I bet you can dance anywhere you want. And, uh... You're a great listener. Um... Your turn? Wait, what? Come on, you already decided earlier! No take that. What, I'm not blushing? I'm a serious deity. Gods don't get easily flustered. You have to do a lot more than that. Uh, wait, I take that back. My ears aren't ticklish, but they are soft. Hey, I said they won't help you, so stop petting them. Is this a weakness for all humans? Holding hands? What technique? Mm, I must remain strong. My muscles aren't big, but I can throw far. Trust me, snowball fights get intense here. Do you like the emblem? I made it myself. It took a week all on its own with all the hearts on the first date. Um, whoops. My pants didn't really get any changes since I only focused on the emblem. But it was the easy part of a hard project. Sometimes the best changes are none of them. Oh no. Not there. Please, I beg of you. <laughs> Stop, no! I give, I give! <laughs> I enough? It's a miracle that anyone takes me seriously. Kara's teasing and you're... Am I forgetting something? Oh, oh wait, I got it! Here, have this. Sorry if 
it doesn't look the best. It was kind of a rush job. I mean, what do you think? Oh, thank goodness. I'm not used to using fire magic like that. I hope you wear it proudly. Not that you have to or... Um... I know it's saying... I'll be back with the date of call. The call. I'm back. Do this. Wow, so this is what this place looks like on the inside. Jeez, how about some decent air conditioning, right? That helps a little bit. So, you want to go to the surface. You wouldn't have come this far if you didn't want to do that. Why the hell would you want that? You don't just climb up a mountain no one returns from. There was an intention behind it. Is being surrounded with humans worth all the trouble? Especially after all the effort to get away from them. <sighs> Never mind. It's none of my business. You do what you want, partner. My mom told you about how I entered the underground, right? When I, uh, dropped in and the king caught me. I'm completely convinced that he wasn't going to kill that day. Let's face it, if he wanted me dead, he would have slammed me into the ground right away. But there was hesitation. He held me in air, and then it felt like I was being, well, slowly lowered down. I clearly remember that's what it felt like. There wasn't any bloodlust behind it. Then mom came in. The king freaked out and set me down a lot faster. It was hard hearing her curse out the king for the next few weeks. I don't know. It just feels like that me and the king, Sans and I, that is, in another life, maybe we could have... I just don't know. Monsters are really weird, you know? Well, okay then. Um. Let's see what else we can react to. Um. This is how I got to the surface, by the way. I wasn't really sure about that. Don't sit there and think I agree with this, because I'm not doing anything. So you when can I open my me. mouth? I can't! If you like smiley, straight, 
And that's it. Like that. Melting head. Oh. Oh, you can see my head melting. It's not like that anymore, though. Thank God. Well, it kind of is. It no, no longer is, but it's still, I still have that glitch. There to hide it. Oh. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Paps is like, what? <sighs> there he is, Asgore. And then... Uh... There he is, as real dreamer. Gaster. What?
My glitch is gone. Blood on my sand. Exactly. Ooh, look at my head. But then again, it was like that before. You did the right thing, me. Up. Oh, there's the kid. Up. Oh. Hello, mother, brother. Hi. Hi. What happened? Technical difficulties. With your head. Sure. <laughs> Uh oh. Why didn't you tell me this too? Oops. Come on, Naps. Don't be so hard on him. He's not in his right mind right now. Yeah. In fact, I'm feeling a little lightheaded lately. <laughs> you can't seriously be doing this right now. Well, that head of yours is looking pretty sparse. But to make you feel better, the surface is amazing. Have you looked at it yet? Nah. I've been avoiding that. Well, no more! Waiting for you! Today is the day! We're going to get you out of here! <coughs> I don't want to believe you. Just, just look at me. I, I don't think I know. I see your concern. However, we have an idea. Human? Oh, let's see what it is. Let's pie. When you first traveled to the same thing, we figured he was going down to zero, right? Yeah. But it stopped when you entered the same screen, so you didn't die. Pretty much. Well, as long as you still have some HP, why can't we just heal you back to full? When I heard that, I was like, what? What? See? I can't believe it was that easy. You don't have to say that. No one will force you to do anything. No. No, Sam. I have to try. I want to do this. If this doesn't work, I'd never be mad at you for it. Never. I'd just be grateful I had more time to spend with you. With all of you. Well, here's the music. I love this music, guys. All thanks to the kid. Sans and Papyrus. Let's go. I can see myself. 
already turning into the dust. Ate the butterscotch cinnamon pie. What did it do? Your HP was maxed out. Seriously though, that pie was good. Yeah, that's my eye right now. I keep the glitch to hide it. Look at that! It worked! Even your head! It fixed your... Uh, oh. Is it bad? Huh? No, no, you look great! Hey, perhaps it's right. You didn't dust or anything. Yeah, I'm just so mad. This whole time I could have escaped. I could have re-entered the world. I could have done something. When I first saw Undyne, I was sweating like crazy. Sam's, what the hell? When you said there was a second Sam hiding in these damn mountains, I thought it was some bad joke. I don't tell bad jokes, only good ones. I really freaking disagree. Undyne, brother number two called himself Gino. He's shy. Say hi, Gino. He's sort of kind of from another time. Timeline? Dimension? Either way, he's staying with us. You're from another dimension? I knew they existed, but I've never seen direct proof before. Well, I sort of may have from another dimension. It's common. Uh, I know you've got a lot of questions, but the dimension you're from is quite tall for me. Yeah. I don't want to make you late for it. And, uh, to be real honest, I don't really want to talk about I'm so for approval.
<laughs> no. <sighs> After tail. So the only one that was left in the other ground was the weed. For Azrael. I missed that little guy. Anyways, I guess that's it for the video. If the live streaming works, I guess me and Kara will see you in the, in the live stream. Bye, guys.